Yo, fellas, welcome back to another one. Today, guys, I'm going to show you everything I know about control dribbling so far and how I like to use it. I feel like I got a good combination of when to use it, when to let go, and the timing. So today, we're going to get through all of that. First, let's talk about the players, man. Today, we're going to be using players like Dabinia with Technical Plus, which means they will be better at performing control dribbling with R1 and RB, right? So it reaches even higher sprint speed when performing control and sprint. So you compare that to, uh, let's say, Smith, who has Technical as well reaches a higher speed when performing control dribbling and sprint. So it's just the difference between these two is they both have technical, just one's going to be a little bit faster with it. But not having technical and not having technical dribbling is also, you can notice a difference. So having the trait in general will help you out. But let's say, we're, let's talk, talk about someone like Kiesa who doesn't have technical, but he has quick step plus, I mean, quick step and rapid plus because rapid plus reaches even higher sprint speed while dribbling. So, you know, interesting still. So, yeah, we're going to show you guys with Rodman, Kiesa, Smith, and Dabinia. So, yeah, guys, let's go. All right, let's start off with this Kiesa clip. And I'm going to show you when I prefer to use control dribbling and pretty much how. So, with Kiesa in this moment, he doesn't have a control. Like, he doesn't have technical or anything like that. Just quick step and rapid. So, I prefer with this guy, even if I have this amount of space, to just sprint. Use his sprinting. And then, for example, every time someone gets close you got to be good with timing and i like to let go of a sprint whenever i get near your opponents unless i know for sure i'll show you but in this instance i let go of sprint around let's see here i already let go of sprint i'm trying to cut this guy coming up so i use my left stick i don't even use control dribbling left stick turn boom that's timing right there i know the distance that i need to be able to perform that right now the next opponent coming up as you see i'm already holding control dribbling because there's going to be a little gap and I don't want to be sprinting in there because what if I hit the ball too far, too far from me? So I kind of want to use control dribbling and keep it tight. Boom, 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 boom. Cut through. Then we score. So that's exactly how you want to use it, even if they have technical plus. But technical plus, you can do a little extra. But that's how I use it when they don't have technical at all. I just use my sprint speed. I use my left stick. Boom, cut. And if a little gap like that arises, R1, RB, get in there. Shoot. Let's go. All right, another passing chance with the Kiesa. We, yeah, we pretty much created this out of thin air, man. Dribble, dribbled, pass, and then Rodman finishes this outside the foot. Boom. All right, so what happened, though? All right, so in this moment, you see how the defender's kind of um, being a little bit patient. I was holding R1 around this scenario right here because I'm like, oh, he's kind of close. He could easily speed up, on, speed up on me, so I don't want to sprint. Then as, as soon as I noticed that he's kind of just not really on me, he's just around me, but he's not really doing much. I let go of R1 and I just regular sprint. Boom. Regular sprint. Now, in that moment, again, whenever I sometimes I feel sketched out, I will use it just a little bit if they're a little bit like close to me. But if I'm good, I'm good. But right here, I use it again to keep it tight. Just to keep it real tight. But I'll use it in tight scenarios. Boom. I'll do regular sprint. And then again, I'll use it right here because it might get tight. He might get catch, catch up to me. I keep the ball close. I let go of it. Always, as soon as I got space, I let go of it. I sprint, sprint. I might use it again to do a weird turn, but other than that, I'll shoot, pass. If there's space, use regular sprint. If it starts to get really tight and you got a little bit of space to go through, use control. All right, I'm gonna talk about something that I, I feel like maybe is a little bit advanced, but I use this a lot, guys, even in the attack. Most of my best chances when I take on the whole team, there's at least one or two of these moments. And I'll explain. So you'll see with Kiesa, You'd be like, whoa, how did he fall for that? Now, it's all, it's a little bit of a mind game in this scenario that I did. But okay, there's open space, right? I hold R1 in this instant right here, and I go downwards. So I use control dribbling to bait in this moment. I use it, boom. And then I let go of it. I'm not holding it anymore. I'm not no more. So I'm, because when you want to cut, I prefer to use regular elastic. So I let go of it, boom. And now he's gone. And then I use regular sprint. Since I knew I already had him, I made sure that as soon as I cut, I'm, I press sprint right away because the, the timing is important to be able to beat the next guy because you also want to catch the next guy off guard. So as soon as you hit that that first guy and you get him, th you get him down, boom, right here. I already knew. Boom, I'm already sprinting right here because you want to catch that guy in the middle off guard. So you want to see, see what I'm saying? Boom. I cut him off guard as well, beat him with pace, and then we pass it to the striker. Now this is effective everywhere on the pitch you just gotta be able to really know how to do it and time it right 
All right, so we did the exact same technique on this hot lamp with Rodman. Remember, she does not have technical, but we use sprint, the sprint speed because that's her specialty. Now we did have a moment in here where I used, uh, for example, uh, R1, which control dribble, but it didn't really work out properly because Rodman doesn't have technical. She can't really do wide turns. So I was like, okay, whatever. We use it in this instant though, right here. And for the same sack scenario, we bait him, let go of it now, left stick, turn, shoot. That's the bait. Do you use it? Get them to think um, you're going to control dribble all the way to the net, which you're not. But people think about it. You know, they're like, oh, okay, this guy's moving a little bit fast. I know he's using, I know he's using control dribble. I'm going to sprint back to him, but actually I'm going to let go of it. And as soon as he's coming in with too much speed, I already know it's a goal. All right. So now we're moving on to the players that have technical and technical plus, and that's going to be Smith. So we turn on this player. Now, this is why they're special. Um, as soon as you can, you can do, you can use a control dribble even when you're not even looking at the opponent and you can do a wide turn slowly and then you're good. Watch, boom, 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 let go of it, turn, control dribble again, cha, goal. You can do that with these type of players. I think the other ones can do it as well, maybe, but not as good, not as good as a technical type of player. So yeah, that little wide turn got him really, he thought I was going there, man, but nah, I wasn't. All right, now we're moving on to a player that has technical plus. The Binia goes crazy, so we get the ball, boom. Brent, back to control, boom, boom, shot. No one can stop it right there, man, nobody. So what do we do, man? When you have a player with technical plus, you can even use it to accelerate. Now, you don't have to use sprint sometimes. Even in this scenario, you're like, all right, you know what? I got extra speed. So I use it here to turn a little bit to the left, and then I use regular sprint speed here. Boom. And then... I use control dribble again to go a little bit to the right and to the left, like a little zigzag. And then, yeah, I was gone. It's just the technical plus is, you know, the preferred method if you want to R1, you know, R1 dribble. But you don't, you don't always need it. But if you want to do, um, you want to have more consistency, I, I suggest probably finding a technical plus or at least technical. I think technical is enough. But if you can find technical plus, man, this is going to be pretty common. For example, Dabinia, she's insane at it. Lionel Messi is crazy at it as well this is uh what what is it i think sophia smith we sold the ball here we do a little cut now this is extra you don't have to do this right but i turn and then i use control dribble here beat the goalie shot bolas. <laughs> another way that you can use control dribble we touch the ball here again these players can do wider turns they have technical so we go for and they also take a little bit extra touches plus sophia has smith has better stats than most players combined with technical you're going to be able to be moving like this pretty easily we do a body faint here. Boom. But it got saved. Good movement. Good. I think he used goalkeeper movement there. All right. This clip right here is like an interesting one because this is how it looks when you start to get really comfortable with it. So uh, let me go from the beginning. We use the Bina, right? We're using control dribble right here. But we let go of it so we can maneuver our player, adjust the player just a little bit. So we look up, right? And then we use it again to go downwards. Boom. Now again, we let go of it. We adjust. We look downwards to kind of fool the player. We use our <laughs> control dribble again to get out. So we're baiting with left stick and we're using control dribble to get out. That's just how, how I've been doing it. Now, Dabinia can do it even with control dribbling, but I prefer to let go of it, press it again, use that speed boost, get out, pass. And when once you get the grips with this man, you know, you be wiggling, control, you get out, left stick a little bit, control, left stick a little bit, control dribbling, you mix both of them. But all right, fellas, I'm going to leave you with this last clip right here with Rodman. Again, she doesn't have technical, so control dribbling is, is as default as it could get. But I use her, um, the control dribbling still, but I combine it with her best traits afterwards. And it is a sprint boost, so, you know, I use it uh, technical right here. Get a little turn inside, and then I use that speed boost she's got, you know, the quick step plus. Take a shot. We didn't get the goal, but that's how we get through it. So, for example, if you had, if you had a player like Davinia in this example... You could probably turn, and if you press R1, RB right here, you could probably go all the way directly to, towards goal, honestly. So, yeah, it's all it's all up to up to you how you use it. You got to know when's the best, fastest method to get out, and then when it's the safest to get out. So, it's, it's, all, it's all a little bit situational. You'll have different moments in game where you'll definitely catch on to that. But, all right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and catch you later, peace.